Cambridge English, first two. Published by Cambridge University Press and Cambridge English Language Assessment, 2016. This recording is copyright. CD1. This is the Cambridge English first listening test. Test 5. I'm going to give you the instructions for this test. I shall introduce each part of the test and give you time to look at the questions. At the start of each piece, you will hear this sound. You will hear each piece twice. Remember, while you are listening, write your answers on the question paper. You will have five minutes at the end of the test to copy your answers onto the separate answer sheet. There will now be a pause. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now open your question paper and look at part one. You will hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer, A, B or C. Question 1. You hear part of an interview with a crime writer. You came from quite a tough town, didn't you? Yes, I did. The experiences I had living there, the people I know, the lessons I had to learn growing up, have stood me in good stead for the kind of life I've chosen. I'm streetwise as a result of all that, and I feel equipped to write the crime novels that I'm known for. I definitely haven't lived a sheltered life. I still have to go back there a lot to see family. Luckily, as a writer, my face isn't that well known. It's not as if I'm a celebrity with my name on the cover of every magazine. You came from quite a tough town, didn't you? Yes, I did. The experiences I had living there, the people I know, the lessons I had to learn growing up, have stood me in good stead for the kind of life I've chosen. I'm streetwise as a result of all that, and I feel equipped to write the crime novels that I'm known for. I definitely haven't lived a sheltered life. I still have to go back there a lot to see family. Luckily, as a writer, my face isn't that well known. It's not as if I'm a celebrity with my name on the cover of every magazine. Question 2. You hear a careers advisor talking to a woman who has applied for two jobs. I've been for two job interviews and I've been offered the first job. I'd prefer the second one, but I haven't heard from the company yet. What should I do? It's difficult to make the right decision if you don't have all the information to hand. I'd explain to the first employer that you're very pleased to have been offered the job, but some other organisations haven't been in touch with you yet. Ask them if it's possible to have a bit more time before you decide. Hopefully, they'll be understanding. Just remember that there could be legal consequences if you accept the first job in writing and then turn it down. I've been for two job interviews and I've been offered the first job. I'd prefer the second one, but I haven't heard from the company yet. What should I do? It's difficult to make the right decision if you don't have all the information to hand. I'd explain to the first employer that you're very pleased to have been offered the job, but some other organisations haven't been in touch with you yet. Ask them if it's possible to have a bit more time before you decide. Hopefully, they'll be understanding. Just remember that there could be legal consequences if you accept the first job in writing and then turn it down. Question 3. You hear a girl talking about a psychology textbook.
Well, I was quite excited when I finally found this psychology book, because I need it for my assignment. It was hardly cheap, and I know I could get a lot of the information in it for free online, but I still think it was worth getting my own copy of it. It has such clear explanations. I probably won't find anything else as useful. Some books like this can turn out to be pretty boring, I know, but I just don't believe this one will, and it's no more expensive than any of the other course books I have to buy. Well, I was quite excited when I finally found this psychology book, because I need it for my assignment. It was hardly cheap, and I know I could get a lot of the information in it for free online, but I still think it was worth getting my own copy of it. It has such clear explanations. I probably won't find anything else as useful. Some books like this can turn out to be pretty boring, I know, but I just don't believe this one will, and it's no more expensive than any of the other course books I have to buy. Question 4 You hear the mother of a famous skier talking about a competition. Well, I don't know who was more surprised, Kelly or me, that she'd won. She didn't start skiing until she was 14, so she was quite a late starter, really. She went to work in a restaurant in Austria in the year before she went to university and went skiing every day after work. I tried to get in touch with her one day at the restaurant and couldn't. She'd left, apparently. Then, a couple of days later, she phoned me and said, Guess what? I've got a new job in a different restaurant, but more importantly... I've just won the Junior Skiing Championship. I couldn't believe it. Well, I don't know who was more surprised, Kelly or me, that she'd won. She didn't start skiing until she was 14, so she was quite a late starter, really. She went to work in a restaurant in Austria in the year before she went to university and went skiing every day after work. I tried to get in touch with her one day at the restaurant and couldn't. She'd left, apparently. Then, a couple of days later, she phoned me and said, Guess what? I've got a new job in a different restaurant, but more importantly, I've just won the Junior Skiing Championship. I couldn't believe it. Question 5 You hear a film director talking about the actors she works with. I have to say, having also worked on some very big-budget films, there are all sorts of advantages to working on a small project like this one. Everyone shares a common goal. Actors always have three reasons to act. The first is to make money for their family, the second is to do good work, and the third is to get their name in lights. The main actors, Chris and Fiona, are already big names in show business, I don't think they're short of money either. No, they're doing this because they're totally committed to the project. I have to say, having also worked on some very big-budget films, there are all sorts of advantages to working on a small project like this one. Everyone shares a common goal. Actors always have three reasons to act. The first is to make money for their family, the second is to do good work, and the third is to get their name in lights. The main actors, Chris and Fiona, are already big names in show business. I don't think they're short of money either. No, they're doing this because they're totally committed to the project. Question 6 You hear a man talking about his first job interview. I'd read everything I could about the company and referred to a lot of it in my interview. I wanted the interviewer to know how much research I'd done and how much I wanted the job. And I'd thought about what an interviewer would want to know about me, based on what I could offer. Deep down, I knew I'd be a great match. In the interview, there was a long silence after one question I was asked, 
but I knew it was important not to say the first thing that came into my head. I did say a few embarrassing things, but I just moved on. I'd read everything I could about the company and referred to a lot of it in my interview. I wanted the interviewer to know how much research I'd done and how much I wanted the job, and I'd thought about what an interviewer would want to know about me based on what I could offer. Deep down, I knew I'd be a great match. In the interview, there was a long silence after one question I was asked, but I knew it was important not to say the first thing that came into my head. I did say a few embarrassing things, but I just moved on. Question 7 You hear two friends talking about a popular television programme. Did you watch that programme last night on Channel 2? Yeah. It's hard to believe Helen Jenkins is 75 years old, isn't it? Most people give up work well before then, and she still seems to be on TV all the time. I know. I think it's because she's such a good communicator, and she's come into her own, hasn't she, with a move away from complicated cuisine towards the simple, budget-friendly family stuff... It's very much in keeping with the times, isn't it? Yes, but I still haven't learnt to do it myself. Did you watch that programme last night on Channel 2? Yeah. It's hard to believe Helen Jenkins is 75 years old, isn't it? Most people give up work well before then, and she still seems to be on TV all the time. I know. I think it's because she's such a good communicator, and she's come into her own, hasn't she, with a move away from complicated cuisine towards the simple, budget-friendly family stuff. It's very much in keeping with the times, isn't it? Yes, but I still haven't learnt to do it myself. Question 8 You hear two people talking about a place they have visited. I loved the architecture, didn't you? Yeah, it was so unusual. I mean, when you think of what's being put up in cities nowadays, you know, all the shopping centers and places, then you wonder whether anyone actually bothers to design buildings like that anymore. That's right. And it's just so quiet and peaceful in there. You could really take time to look at all the objects on display. I loved those rare 15th century books. So different from anything you could ever buy. Yeah, me too. I'm going to read up on those now, in fact. There'll be something about them on the internet, or maybe a book I can borrow. I loved the architecture, didn't you? Yeah, it was so unusual. I mean, when you think of what's being put up in cities nowadays, you know, all the shopping centers and places... Then you wonder whether anyone actually bothers to design buildings like that anymore. That's right. And it's just so quiet and peaceful in there. You could really take time to look at all the objects on display. I loved those rare 15th century books. So different from anything you could ever buy. Yeah, me too. I'm going to read up on those now, in fact. There'll be something about them on the internet. Or maybe a book I can borrow. That is the end of part one.